Swain's a busy, interesting 24, 48 hours, but I, I know how important it was for you to go out there tonight and for us to get that win and progress, and you must be pleased overall. Yeah, um, it's been a difficult 48 hours for, for everyone, uh, but the football club moves on. Cup competition, knockout competition, um, winner takes all type of thing. Money in the pot for the, for the football club, so it was important that we got the win. and. We managed to managed to get over the line. You obviously made changes to, to Saturday's side, and it was a real opportunity for lads who may not have featured as much to really go out there and do that. And it, was there any standout for you tonight? Um, I, I thought I thought we grew into the game a little bit. Um, we changed this. Listen, I'm not going to take credit for the for the team. We we discussed the team after um, after Saturday's game. So while while Dave was still here, um, the majority of the team was picked. But yeah, um, we grew into the game a little bit, but. I've got to be honest, the, the, the subs had a massive impact and that's, that's what football is all about. It's no point having a squad if you can't use a score when, requ uh, when required, which we did today. And if you're on the bench, you're, not, you're there to impact the game and, and that's what the subs did. Uh, I was just going to mention that smart managerial decisions <laughs> from yourself. And Matty Daly uh, obviously comes on 30 seconds later, he's dancing around the Everton defence and puts in the back of the net. And it, it, For him and Luke Molyneux, who made a big impact as well, it, it, did you just feel like we just needed that spark a little bit? Y yeah, um, it was just a case of who to bring off really. We changed the, we changed the shape, went 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, conscious of a couple of the lads because we changed the side, weren't, weren't at full 100% match fitness and, and probably couldn't last the 90 minutes and it was just a case of being, being a little bit sensible in where we changed it. Dales is, is more of a midfield player but there was an opportunity to come, come in off that, uh, off that left hand side and, and he's, got, he's got great ability, um, that's, that's why he's at a championship club and we've loaned him. So it was good to see him come on and, and impact the game. I think he's, I think him himself over the last two or three, two or three months really, has really picked up um, after after a little bit of a slow start. You mentioned at the beginning there. Obviously, it's an opportunity for lads to go out there tonight. We've got the win, but it's an opportunity to have a, a little bit of a cup run, which we probably has been starved of a little bit at Victoria Park. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just like the lads there, it's probably the, the best opportunity we'll get of, of getting a final and winning a trophy. Um, that's not looking down on the league. Um, if, listen, if, if we finished in the playoffs and got through a, through a cup competition like that, then brilliant, but let's, let's be realistic about it. We'll, we'll be playing teams in and around our level, um, and there was, a, there was a prize money to be had tonight, and more prize money to be had in the, uh, the next round, and even take away all of that, it's momentum. We, we, we've quite a good side at home, we've got a good home record, we want to keep on... Um, keep on building on that and, and it's important that you, you win these games. Uh, obviously as you mentioned, difficult 24-48 hours for you but uh, your sole purpose and I know how focused you are right now is it, it, obviously taking control of this team and putting us in the right step for whatever the next steps are. Yeah absolutely, yeah. The same remit as last time really. Um, just come in, just just do your best, just buy the, the football club um, time to make the right decision. Um, it's probably, I've said this to the powers of it's probably more important that they get it right this time than it was the, the last time I took caretaker. We've, we as a football club have got a lot more to lose, so I'm, 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 I'm comfortable with where we're at. Um, hopefully the club are comfortable with where they're at and the more we, the more we win games, it will buy the club, the club time to, to do what they need to do. Have you had a chance to, obviously I know you're being focused on tonight's game, but sit with the lads and obviously it, it must be difficult for them kind of the way it all came across and quite unexpected in a way, but it, how are they in there? Obviously they must be happy with tonight's winner as well. Yeah, um, address the lads before the game because I, I think it's important to do that. Um, just to give them a background on where we're at as a football club and, and what's being said to me. Um, they'll be like foot like any football squad, there'll be some really disappointed, there'll be some quite pleased because they might, they might not have been regular starters and stuff like that, that's just the nature of football. I think what we've, what we've got to do is, is appreciate the, uh, the job that, that Dave did when he was here. If someone had said you'd, you'd come in, get us out of the National League and leave us in the position we're in, um, regardless of who that manager is, I think we'd have snapped their, snapped their hand off for that. So, fantastic, um, but like in any football club, if, if you're in football long enough, uh, managers move on. A little bit of a, uh, uh, a weird situation that uh, moves on when the team's relatively in a, in, a, in a decent place, but that's football. The lads have got to move on and, and do the best for themselves. What's the next steps for you then, is, or is it purely focusing on Saturday's game? Yeah, next steps is preparing the team for, for, for Wickham until I'm, I'm told otherwise. Another another easy one to, um, to take charge of, but yeah, there'll, there'll obviously be there'll be changes to the side. We'll we'll put a team out there that that, that we believe can compete, and, and that's what we've got to do at this place. We've got to compete, and we've got to got to make it hard for teams that come here, which we have done this season. Um, but it'll be a tough test, and we know that. And just finally, I know this is your second spell as interim manager, but it must be, and obviously it's been an odd 48 hours, but it must be exciting for you to see 
to take control of the dugout with the excitement of what Saturday's atmosphere can bring and what you've seen at the Vic this season and how good the atmosphere has been? Yeah, um, I think, like I said, I think the football club is in, in, in a different space to, to when I took over last time. Um, the, the atmosphere around the place uh, up until the last 48 hours has been really positive. Um, and it's been a it's been a joy to, to stand and watch on the on the touchline and be a part of that atmosphere. Hopefully that continues. I'm, I'm pretty sure it will continue. But, um, everyone's been been a little bit uh, a little bit taken aback by the events, but like I said, there football and move on. Um, myself, it's more it's more relief at times because yeah, when you've been associated with a football club and, and you live in the town, um, there's a lot at stake. So people people have said there's there's no pressure, there's no expectations, but there, there is because you put that on yourself. So yeah, I'm pleased we got the win and uh, look forward to look forward to Saturday. Sweet, thanks very much. No worries.